you're going to see an X1 and X2 scale. All that does is it doubles the meter. If I put it up there, it basically cuts the reading in half, so I can be a little bit more accurate if I wanted to. For our purposes, we're going to leave it on X1 so that it's easy to understand. Here we have a fast and slow response. All that does is that if the meter, if the, if the thing gets to, the needle gets to going too quickly, it'll slow it down, it'll dampen it, so that it averages out and you've got a more accurate meeting. This is a reset zero. We don't really use that. It just basically dumps the average and brings it back to zero. Uh, we're going to set this thing on X1 and we're going to start walking toward this slab. Now what the MIA says is a, an average countertop is somewhere right in here, right about where it's at. Well, that's about background radiation, so that alone tells you that something's wrong. Now let's keep the camera on this meter as we walk closer. We are about seven feet away from the Italian uh, uh, granite. It is called uh, Niger uh, sorry, Niagara. Niagara Gold. I keep calling it Nigeria. Niagara Gold. It's about a six foot by nine foot slab. A little larger, but as you see it's starting to go up. Now pretty soon you're going to see that meter pegging out. We're now about 18 inches away. We're about a foot away. and All of a sudden we're up to uh, 0.3 millirotogen. You get in contact with it, just like a small child, my golly, it pegged the meter, we better switch to the higher range. Now, this is this is a child that's doing his homework, or a pregnant woman leaning up against the countertop. We've got it switched on X10. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. We were explaining that uh, this is in millirotogen, which is 1,000th of a rotogen. What the MIA is talking about is micro-rotogen, which is 1 millionth. So if we're reading... Right now we're on X10, so this is t this is actually uh, uh, one millirotogen. This is a hundred times what the MIA says a granite countertop should put off. As we go a little bit further around, you can see that we're still a hundred times. Well, now it's starting to climb up. Now this is a pancake probe. It's called a Lenny. It's a specially modified Geiger counter. That has been basically souped up with new electronics and more sensitive probe. We're now at around 13 millirotogen, around 130 times more than what the device is expected. And if you'll see, it pretty much averages one millirotogen. Some of the prospects prospecting websites tell us that if you're in an area and you're prospecting for uh, uranium or something, that if you reach an area where you have one millirem radiation coming at you, you should back out of the area. You should not go forward, you should back out to a safe area. Now we're up to uh, 2.5 millirotogen. Again, we're on X10, so that would be 2, not 0.2, and that would be about, oh, it's peaking out around 2.6, 2.7. 2 this is as hot as the famous Houston slab, uh, the one that they had to tear out because it was so hot. And if you get on into this darker area, it just about pegged the meter out. So that would be reading around, well, the hot spot there was four to five. You notice if I hold it steady in one spot, it gets higher and higher, and it's about to peg the meter out, so I'm going to switch to X100. Now the meter is reading 10, 20, 30, 40.